Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru, a.k.a. Dean Tinney, coming to you from my undisclosed off-grid studio somewhere in northern Arizona with an explication request. Uh, the best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend uh, a Kaplan Q-Bank. Uh, this is an explication request from a Series 24 candidate. And uh, this would be appropriate for both the 24 and 57. Uh, P.S. Uh, if you're looking to buy a Kaplan uh, QBank, you can get a 15% discount on all Kaplan's products and services with the Guru 15 discount code at checkout. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan content like this. Okay, back to the question at hand. Uh, this is, again, appropriate limit order protection 24 and 57. A market maker in a global market stock is quoting 34.10, 34.14, 12 by 10. The inside market is 34.12, 34.14, 5 by 20. The market maker then receives an order to buy 400 shares at 34.11. After the receipt, the market maker's new quote will be. So they're asking you about what the new display that I'm going to have here. So let's just break it into its component parts, I hear. I always suggest that you make your own exhibit. And so uh, no surprise, this explication request is from a 24 whose background is in packaged products, not trading or banking. You know, many times I teach a 24 class, 20 people, everybody passes. But when we lose somebody, the uh, sad part is we don't lose them by much. It's one point, two point. And it's usually a mutual fund person who kind of gets hung up on this trading language. It's like learning a foreign language, right? They say when you dream the foreign language, that's when you know it. So I guess when you have your first Series 24 dream, woohoo, you're on track. So uh, I say, okay, market maker buys at 34.10 and sells at 34.14. That is known as the bid and the ask, right? And the quotes on the test are always from the dealer's perspective, inside looking out. And so when people are struggling, sometimes it's because they're outside looking in. So I'm willing to buy this into my inventory at 34.10. I'm willing to sell this stock out of my inventory at 34.14. Very important to know that the inside market is the highest bid and the lowest ask. So right now, uh, the highest bid in the marketplace is 34.12. And the lowest asking price is 34.14. As you can see, uh, I'm, as a market maker, just playing that I'm good for 10 round lots at 34.14. So that means there's another market maker or market makers that are also willing to sell at 34.14. So remember, the size is expressed as round lots. So for my quote, I'm willing to buy 1,200 shares into my inventory at 34.20. I'm willing to sell 10 round lots, 1,000 shares out of my inventory at 34.14. Again, I'm trying to capture the spread here. The market maker then receives a customer order to buy 400 shares at 34.11. Now, it's not the customer's job to know that it's a buy limit order. That's my job, right? So I should recognize that this customer is saying that they want to buy 400 shares at 34.11. Now, uh, I, the way I express this to folks is that if a customer gives me a market order, he's going to be on the opposite side of my quote. So, for example, if my customer... Wanted to buy at the market, I would have sold them the stock at 34.14. And if the customer wanted to sell at the market, I would have bought it at 34.10. So that's kind of an important concept. And then the way I express a limit order is now the customer is on the same side of the quote as the market maker. As you can see, I as a market maker want to buy at 34.10, and a other market maker or market makers are willing to pay 34.12. And as a buyer, we got to match them with a seller. And I say, well, gee, Mr. Manning, I always, when I'm doing these questions, think of Mr. Manning because we sometimes refer to these as Manning rules because Mr. Manning filed a class action lawsuit against market makers. You know, unfortunately, on 24, you got to believe in human depravity and original sin. And what I would like to do is pretend I didn't get this order at 3411, buy it into my inventory at 3410, and then fill the limit order at 3411. You know, it beats working for a living. By the way, the person selling, if they sold to me at 34.10, again, let's say I don't display the order, I buy it at 34.10, that person got a penny less than they otherwise would have got 
had I displayed the order, right? I take a penny here, a penny there. <laughs> you know? uh, I don't know if it's still in print, but I highly recommend uh, Chairman Levitt's uh, uh, memoir called Taking on the Street. And uh, a lot of the reforms that you're getting tested on come from his tenure as SEC chairman. And uh, in his foreword, he says that uh, he's proud of the fact that market makers make tens of billions of dollars less as a result of some of the reforms like limit order protection. So, uh, you know, good read if you're you're into that kind of thing. All right, back to the task at hand. So first thing I tell Mr. Manning is, well, listen, uh, right now I got to match you. You said you want to buy it at uh, 3411. And right there, there's there's just nobody there at 3411. Well, well you know, as you're a buyer, we got to match it with a seller. It's just not there. Right. I'm I'm willing to buy at 3410. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my quote. And say, okay, is uh, Mr. Manning's quote, this customer here, who we're just calling Mr. Manning, uh, wants to buy at 3411. And so he has a higher price than I do. And so what I'm going to have to do is update my quote. Right. And so now the updated quote I'm going to show to the marketplace 3411, four by 10. And so the answer to this question is choice A. Choice A, let me just get out my little highlighter here. Boom. There is the right, whoop. The right answer, right? The right answer is 3411. Uh, P.S. If you had the same price as me, if this was like 400 at uh, 3410, it would be 16, right? The 12 plus the uh, four. Uh, one more point before, uh, you know, I call it a day on this explication request is remember this idea of whatever I do moving forward, I have to do for the customer, right? So, you know, if he had the same price as me, 3410, he has a better price, he goes ahead. Uh, but if he had uh, the same price as me, whatever I do for myself in terms of that, I have to do for the customer. Uh, and then again, uh, I have the uh, obligation on the remaining order, whatever's left, uh, right? So uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, limit order uh, protection rules. Uh, in terms of the customer. And as I say, same side of the market. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put this in the 2457 playlist. And I'll also uh, post a little video lecture I made on limit order protection. Maybe that also will be helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your 2457 is a cinch. Uh, yard by yard, your 24 or 57 is hard.